So years ago, I was having a conversation with a buddy of mine, shout out to Dean. Dean and I were, I don't know, we kind of grew up in similar ways. We didn't come from the best upbringings. I remember something that he said that, that totally made a lot of sense back then. We were talking about growing up and, you know, the expectations that you set for yourself and the type of life that you end up living based off of your circumstances and your surroundings and what you can see as accomplishable because really when you grow up certain ways you don't see what you're able to do you don't feel like you have the ability to do as good as someone who has a better upbringing and i remember him saying that his big goal in life was not to end up in jail and in prison and he said that what if he would have thought that he could do more when he was younger. And it's something that I still think about because I, I know I felt the same way. And when we're young, like really young, depending on what your household is like and depending on what people around you tell you that you can or can't do, it really like establishes and sets the tone for what you think you're able to do. And even though in school, you may have some teachers that tell you that you can do anything you want and maybe you have a few positive adults around you that will tell you that you can do whatever you want. The reality of it is, is that you don't feel like you can because it's really rare for someone who comes from a really bad background and a really bad upbringing to be super successful in life. It's possible and it happens, but it's rare. And I still think about that conversation that me and Dean had. This conversation happened years before I decided to learn how to code. It happened before I had kids. It happened before I was married. It happened before I owned a home. And that conversation actually ended up helping me change and shift the way that I think about what I'm able to do and what I'm able to accomplish. When I was younger, I didn't have any goals or ambitions. And when I was like 16 years old and I was a little hood rat, I thought that I was gonna be a drug dealer. Like that that was like my big goal. And I was like a part-time drug dealer at that time just to have some extra money and to actually go buy drugs and use drugs because I was a piece of shit. And I was a bad kid and I was a victim of my surroundings. And I know that there's a lot of people who don't get that, who think it's bullshit. Like, oh, victim of your surroundings, you know, get your shit together, go get a better life. And the truth is that it's fucking hard. That's so hard when you're in the thick of it. And I'm lucky that that things worked out for me, you know, with a few big things that happened in my life, like my mom picking up and moving us out of the hood and moving us to a whole different state across the country. That really helped me. But even when that happened, I, I was still in that kind of ghetto mentality. I was still trying to find people that I could relate to and hang out with those type of people. And, and it wasn't until years later that I started to meet better people like my buddy Dean and other people that ended up showing me that there's other things that you can do in life than just sit sit in a trap house smoking weed all day, playing video games and talking shit with your friends. It's weird because now I look back and I think about like my kids and I got a lot of comments on a video that I talk about, like I wanna give my kids generational wealth. And there's a lot of like, oh no, you gotta make sure that they struggle. They're gonna be spoiled. You can't just give them everything. Money's not gonna solve everything. You know, you gotta make sure you spend time with them. I, I spend time with my kids every single day like after work my time is blocked off for family time until they're in bed and i i make sure that i am there because i didn't have that in my life and the things that i'm trying to teach my kids are the things that i didn't realize when i was younger and i'm really trying to show them that it is possible to be whatever you want to be and do whatever you want to do and i'm going to give them those opportunities by making more money because when you grow up broken poor you don't have those opportunities people tell you that it's possible but the way you live and the life that you have say different and even though it is possible, you just can't see that because your goals and what you can accomplish, your aspirations are so much smaller and you think about what's actually achievable within your realm, what's around you and what you see that people are able to do that you grow up with and many of them don't grow up to do anything. Many of them don't accomplish anything. I have a lot of friends that I grew up with that are like that, that they, they kind of are doing the same thing they've been doing for the last 20, 30 years, and they're never gonna change because unfortunately that's, that's all they know. And the big aspirations that you have when you don't have anything else going for you 
aren't that big at all. I, I remember being a teenager and, and having some of my friends that would talk about like, oh, I'm gonna be like a forklift driver because they make, you know, 15 bucks an hour or I'm gonna I'm gonna work construction and I'm gonna operate a crane because they make good money. And and like those are good jobs, but like just the thought that, that was how high we were shooting. None of us thought that we were gonna be lawyers or doctors or astronauts or business owners or entrepreneurs or any of those things. We were shooting so low that we just couldn't see the possibility of anything bigger than that for us because of how we were trained to think, because of how we were brought up. And it, I always think about that conversation with Dean when he said like, you know, my big goal in life was to not land in jail. And he's, he's super successful now. He's got a great job. He's, you know, homeowner and, and he, he lives a good life now. And thinking back to like when we had these conversations, times were a little bit different, but he also wasn't, you know, doing terrible for himself. He was a an honest dude making an honest living and, and I'm happy to see him succeed and I'm happy that I was able to succeed. But then I think about like, man, what if we would have shot for, for bigger and better things? Because maybe if we would have known that we actually could have got bigger and better things, who knows where we could be? And like, that's where that shift in mentality has come for me. And that's where I'm at now. And and now I think bigger, bigger and better things, bigger and better things. I learned how to code. I got my first job as a developer. I started making decent money doing that. Five years later, I'm making more money than I ever thought I could make. And now i am got a YouTube channel and I got this thing in the mail. And, and it's like just sitting there because I was like just so excited to get it. Now I have it. I'm just like, oh, that's, that's cool. I'm, I'm super, super happy that I got that. But then like, you know, let me shoot bigger. You know, the next one's a million, right? Let me start doing other things that I never thought I could do and sticking with it and, and seeing how far I can go with them and following through with stuff. Because when I was younger, I didn't follow through with anything because I just didn't think that I could do anything. I, I was low ambition and, and, and small goals or no goals at all, just kind of getting by doing the same shit every day and not aspiring to be any better than I thought I could be. So why try any harder? And now I'm like, why not? Why not try harder? Why not go out and try to do everything that you never thought you'd be able to do and see if you can actually accomplish it and see how far you can get. I guess I just wanted to share this random thought because I have a lot of random thoughts. I jot down all these ideas and then I come back to like wanting to make videos on these things. I really try to walk that line of like growing a YouTube channel, but expressing myself and talking about things that I think need to be talked about and things that, that we need to just let other people know that that they're not alone in these kind of struggles, right? That that everybody goes through shit. And some of us just feel like maybe we can't accomplish certain things because of our current circumstances or the way that we grew up or the fact that it's really hard. And I'm starting to see that the things that I am able to do, the only thing that separates me from those things is me setting out to do it and following through with it. You know, this shit doesn't happen overnight. I've, I've worked super hard for years and I'm still not where I feel like I want to be. And I don't know if I'll ever feel like I'm ever where I want to be, but like I'm having a good impact on people and that's fulfilling. And I feel like I wanna turn on this camera more and talk more because I don't know, people need it. I need it, it's good. It's kind of like a therapy session. And I don't know, this kind of digress. I guess what I was just trying to get across in this video is that Aspire to do bigger and better things. Even if you feel like you don't deserve it, even if you feel like you're not able to, just set out to do the things that you wanna do. You know, write your goals down and start knocking them out. Do the little things that help the bigger things. And eventually you'll do enough little things that the bigger things just happen. The work happens a little bit every day. And even though you may not feel like you'll be able to do it, eventually, if you grind it out long enough, you will. All right, with all that said, Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.